Hey there, folks. Are you excited? I hope you're excited. I'm excited. It's my very first Generation 6 Wi-Fi battle, and not only that, it's a little cup battle! Uh, my opponent is none other than Shark Tamer, a very good friend of mine who, uh, you know, we've been talking on YouTube for years now, um, and I put up a video saying, hey, anyone want to play Gen 6 Little Cup? And he said, well, I don't actually have a team right now, but, you know, I'm willing to put one together. The only problem is I don't have the Aviolites. And I said, oh, I can get you the Aviolites. This goes for anyone listening to this video right now. Uh, if you want to play Gen 6 Little Cup and you can put together a team, breeding is super easy. You can also transfer anyone from Gen 5. Um, you know, the, the hack checks in Pokebank apparently are really lax. But anyway... My point is, if you want to play Gen 6 Little Cup and you just don't have the Aviolites, I will give you the Aviolites. I can clone them super easily. Um, I'll get into that in the description. But anyway, so let me actually get to this battle. So he led off with his Houndour, as I led off with my Surskit. I decided just go for the Sticky Web first turn. Uh, I don't really see anyone on his team. He doesn't have a spinner, um, obviously. Uh, I don't think Arkin runs def uh, Defog, because that would be a strange move on an Arkin. But yeah, I just thought it was a pretty safe move. Next turn, obviously, I'm going to want to switch out into my Fungus to take the Spore, so that was a really good prediction on my part. Now we're swapping Sludge Bombs back and forth. I'm actually really surprised. Very few uh, people I've seen carry Sludge Bomb on their Fungus. Usually it's Clear Smog, in which case I, my Fungus dominates, and it's great. Anyway, he decides that uh, even though I'm at lower health than he is, he's going to switch out here. Uh, I go for the Sludge Bomb again, uh, but his uh, Mischievous re resists it. Goes for the substitute. I was really expecting uh, my opponent to go for the nasty plot, but no, no such luck. I'm gonna have to switch out, and now I'm in a really bad situation. Um, <clears throat> he's behind a sub. I don't know th that I can take the shadow ball, but we'll find out. So Keats actually does take the shadow ball with 11 HP. It looks like it's going to be enough that I can take two. So here, um, Mischievous goes for a nasty plot. And I'm like, oh, this is so bad. Keats goes for the Hydro Pump. It hits. Thank God it hit. If it had missed, this game would have been over before it had even really started. And so now, while I'm going to die to this next Shadow Ball, I'm in a great situation because I can send out my Hone Edge just to take it out with a Shadow Sneak. So, bye-bye. Oh, yeah, so I hope you are liking this layout. I'm, I'm playing around with some different things. Um, this is the layout that I've got so far. I'm not sure that I'm going to keep it. But we'll see, but I would have definitely appreciated feedback. So here, uh, I've got no choice but to just go for the sticky, uh, just just to go for the Shadow Sneak, because, uh, you know, the switch out was obvious, but if he decided to over-predict, then I would be up <laughs> creek, pardon the language. Uh, so anyway, now I'm going to go out into Angler. This is a really obvious move here. And he's just going to go for a Dark Pulse, but, you know, Chin Chows are very bulky on the Specialist. I actually couldn't believe how much that did, so now I've got to bank on the fact that I'm faster. He goes for Sucker Punch, I'm like, oh no, this is awful, and I survive on three, I'm like, yes! That's awesome. Um, so here I just go, I go for a Dazzling Gleam. Why did I go for a Dazzling Gleam instead of a Scald? The answer is because I thought he was going to go out into Fungus, and I thought it would hit anyone on his team, and I thought it would be super effective against Hound Doom, Hound Dower, I'm sorry. I forgot freaking forgot that uh, fire types resist fairy. Stupid, stupid move, and I lose my I, I lose my Chen Chao for nothing. So here, uh, I was actually predicting the switch, and I go for the substitute. Uh, so, uh, or either the substitute, or either the switch, or the um, the sucker punch. So great situation for me. I'm behind a sub. Now he's behind a sub, but you know whatever. Uh, go for the night slash here. It's gonna obviously break his sub. Look at Inky. Look at how cute that little Inky is. It's so freaking cute. Oh yes, it's so cute. He's so cute. Yeah, sorry. I, I, in case you couldn't tell, I'm really obsessed with Inky. I it's it's gotta be my favorite Pokemon of Gen Six. It's just so damn cute. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, here, so breaks my sub, go for the Night Slash, take out the Mischievous, and that is great, except for I wish I were behind a sub because now I can be easily revenged. Honestly, Inke, Inky is really only alright. Yeah, that's the name. I, um, because Inke, never mind. It's, it's, it's the same, it's a reuse of, reuse of the pun that I had for my Audino, so Audino is I don't know, um, and so I called it maybe. Anyway. He actually did carry the Defog. I could not believe his Arkin carried Defog. And so my, you know, I let Surskit die.
because I figured it's got the streaky web up, so it doesn't really matter, and now I'm screwed. Um, and so all the advantages that I was having from the fact that all my Pokemon were faster are now wasted. Now here, he had to send out someone to die. Might as well have been his Houndour. And uh, so, yeah, I got a kill. It's tie game. It's 4 4, but the situation is really more with his. More. He's in a much better situation than I am because he got rid of my sticky web, so. Defog pays off. Yeah, you notice, this is the weirdest thing. Especially with, you know, I would never thought the Talonflame would be viable this gen because, you know, 4x weak to Stealth Rock? No Pokemon that's 4x weak to Stealth Rock can really be viable. I mean, Volcarona was barely viable. Um, but, you know, Charizard is like at the top of the, uh, at the usage stats, uh, and, you know, Talonflame is really high up there too. It's because no one runs Stealth Rock anymore because everyone freaking runs Defog. So, you know, you're not going to run on your team because uh, Defog clears both sides. So yeah, it's, it's, I don't think it's stupid, but whatever. Anyway, he knocks off my Evaluate. Um, I go for the Iron Head. Was really surprised it didn't kill this really must be a bulkier set. Uh, freaking Mind Fu. Um, so, Mind Fu is at the, after the bands in Little Cup, Mind Fu is at the very top of the Little Cup rankings again for another generation. So it's freaking Gen 5 all over again. Uh, there was a, there was a while there where it looked like Gen 6 Little Cup could really have been different than Gen 5, but... It's back to the way it was in Gen 5, really. Uh, I'm I'm a little disappointed. I mean, I still love Little Cup, don't get me wrong. The, po the Pokemon are adorable, and that's that alone is worth it. But I really wish we could have had a more offensively based meta game. Um, I was one of the people who very much advocated for not banning Sneasel back at, in round zero. But, you know, I did not have my way there. Uh, I should at some point show you guys my... Uh, my Round Zero team that had Sneasel on it. It was awesome. I was actually at the top of the rankings for a good few weeks. Anyway, he tricks me his uh, Choice Scarf. I'm like, that is really strange, but okay. And I wake up here, go for the Shadow Claw, and I'm like, yes! And he survives. And I'm like, well, that's okay, I should outspeed. I run speed investment, but he outspeeds me, and I die. And I'm like, what happened there? Um, I will throw up the numbers there, but I'm pretty sure that was a freaking speed tie. So he wins the speed tie, and I lose my hone edge. That really, really bites. So now out comes Minimus. He's just going to go for the U-turn. That's pretty obvious. Um, I don't think I'm... I don't think I spore here, because that would be stupid. But we will find out. No. So he goes out into his, uh, yep. And I go for the Sludge Bomb. Very wise move on my part. I, I don't, you know, I play pretty conservatively. I don't go for spores when you got it, when my opponent has a grass type on his team. I managed to take that, um, that fungus out with two sludge bombs. That's great. That was a little, I think that was a little bit of min max damage, but he did it to me earlier, so it's all good. Now I'm down to my last two Pokemon on his side. I got a fodder fungus. Uh, I got a fodder, fodder my Minimus, and uh, really no other choice there. But now I get the free switch into Inky. It turns out I would have had the free switch into Inky anyway, but really I could not have overprotected here. He goes for the high jump kick and misses. And I'm like, LOL, okay, so the hacks is balancing out now. That's not bad for me at all. So here's down to, oh, and by the way, speed tie. Yeah, so uh, he outsped first turn, I outsped second turn, and now I've gone for the superpower, get my defenses boosted, and I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this uh, because Inky has a decent amount of speed. It's running jolly max speed. Uh, I mean, so cute, look at his little bouncing. Uh, yeah, it's, it would be even cuter for the other person. So, I outspeed his Arcanine. I'm like, that's great! Now I'm at plus two, and I know the U-turn's coming, but I think I can take it at plus two. I mean, and then I've got Berry Juice, that's my item. So I'm thinking I'll just recover all my health after the U-turn, and I'm like, how did I die? What the hell happened there? A CRITICAL HIT! ARE YOU SERIOUS?! OH MY GOD! Yeah, so frustrating game, but really great, really, uh, really well played Shark Tamer. Um, you know, hacks ain't anybody's fault, it's just the game, uh, and I wish, you know, at some other point it will go in my favor and I will be like, oh yeah, but it wasn't hacks, it was just, you know, fate and blah blah blah, I don't know, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but basically the point is, hacks happens, um, and the takeaway message from this is that Little Cup Gen 6 is awesome and that you should play too and I will give you the Violates. so that's it folks, see you soon.